that, <laughs> yeah. you know, I thought that was what that sound was, but it is truly it's not, chicken and, it's not chicken and rice, though. It's let's let's else. let's play a game. What am I eating? Granola. Um, you're eating like those uh, rice. You're eating like those like veggie sticks. Hmm. Maybe. That's what you know, right? Hold on. Let's I'll give you a again. I'll give you a hint. Give us the sound of you taking. Okay. Them okay. One sec. One sec. Good piece. A piece. Hmm. Dude, you, you know, know I got nothing. I didn't hear anything. I'll give you a hint. I bought them for us on our trip to Vermont. Or actually, maybe even the the trip before that, and you guys got really mad at me, and then everyone ended up enjoying them. Hmm. Well, I wasn't on the trip before that. <laughs> no, you weren't. <coughs> oh. And now Cooper's dead. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Green beans. I'm eating green beans. Oh, green beans. <laughs> yeah, I still hate you for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like everyone ended yeah. up enjoying them. Did that is going to be a hate you for me, bud. <laughs> All I right, think whatever. I only enjoyed them after a very <laughs> arduous power hour. Yeah. <laughs> At like 4 p.m. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think then maybe it was acceptable. Mm hmm. All right, guys. I'm going to start this shit. Let's go. Elijah Hood here for the XFL. Oh, wait, well, no, it's the outro. Oh, big oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sorry, boys. <laughs> the real question ready? is and can I edit that out? No. I'm not. I'm no, not no, it's not worth it. That's good content. It's, yeah, it's great content. Here we go. Welcome to the Fly You Fools podcast. The podcast that talks a little about J.R.R. Tolkien and his work and a lot about everything else. Enjoy this time with your fellow fools, Tips K, Jacob and Cooper. Thank you for listening. Mm. Stuff. All right. All right. Um, so welcome to the welcome to the cast, guys. Good to talk to you. Um, we are supposed to read five and six, correct? Yeah, it is correct. So I gotta ask: Did you do it? Did you I did. read? I did it all of today. Did you? Yeah. Same. It's pretty. It's you know, it's not bad. Just listening to it, you just get down in one day, and then I uh, think I like these books better. Um, oh, I'm definitely enjoying this this stuff more than I have anything else we've read so far. These chapters. Yeah, me too, for sure. And Cooper, I noticed you're kind of silent over there. Um, did did, <laughs> did you read? Uh, well, John, Jonathan, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like I read. Um, <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> you know. In other words, I, ha I have movie. read years before and more recently watched the movie, and I feel like I have a good understanding. Um, so we'll say um, technically no, no but yeah, so maybe, just, maybe but, a little bit. Yeah. But actually no, too. But really, <laughs> though, it's no. Yeah. Um, like if you were to say if you read or not, you would say no. Um, yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I'll go ahead and give the summary this time, guys. So we pick up with uh, Aragorn, Gimli, and Legolas just waking up uh, after camping. And then they basically have like a Sherlock Holmes off where they try and figure out what the fuck happened. And of course, like Aragorn gets it right 100% of the time, which is cool because he even makes Legolas look silly. And then they meet up with Gandalf, who, surprise, surprise, is still alive. Um, basically just recounts uh what he's done which is not a whole lot and why the world hasn't ended yet as well as what steps they should take they reason to go to rohan which they do um, yeah. okay okay so there's a really cool part where first off they find gandalf in the woods and he's like being super secretive he like doesn't really want to like say it's him you know so no, basically he's, he's forgotten Oh, right. He's kind of all confused. He's like Joe Biden. He's um, he's, like Joe he's showing Biden. some stages of dementia. <laughs> he's really confused. But then I guess they ended up kind of reminding him who he is. And he's like, cool oh, part, yeah, Gandalf. Oh, that's right. But the cool part is when he's talking about his fight with the Balrog and how he follows the Balrog out of like what is the center of the earth back to uh, mm -hmm. back to, yeah. uh, you know. 
No, yeah, I mean, it's, it's cool, really and they talk about the endless ass. stare, which I think is great. Mm-hmm. Um, that, I guess, a bunch of dwarves just fucking dug straight down into the center of the earth. And, yeah. I, I, I mean, I have no idea. Apparently, I would love to look into that, but I haven't had time because I've been in fucking Columbus, Ohio um, for a day now. And I just, it's is, physically draining. Which is worse, Columbus, Ohio, or the center of the earth mm. dude i mean Good from question. i would love to see the center of the earth because at least with that you're seeing like if you don't make it out of there and you get eaten alive by the terrible things that crawl called the tunnels um you would at least see something you know unique oh right you know what i mean like there'd be a lot of cool you'd see some really neat shit before you die wouldn't it be really funny if gandalf saw the crew from the movie The Core, tunneling into the core, like in a little movie <laughs> crossover. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> that would be pretty hilarious, Cooper, but unfortunately mm-hmm. that didn't happen. Okay. Wait, and it just kind of walked out. That's a good movie too, by the way. Is, uh, is what's his name in that movie? The bald guy who's in... Uh... What's his name? <laughs> <laughs> bald guy. He's Dr. In, Phil? Kind of. Kind of like Dr. Phil. Oh, what's this guy's name? He's in um he's like a cop in these movies. Dude. Bruce Willis. <laughs> Bruce Willis. Is Bruce Willis in core? No. I don't uh, think Aaron Eckhart is in the core. Aaron Eckhart is in the core? Mm-hmm. I do love Aaron Eckhart. Can you remind me why they're why they're going to the core again? Because uh the Earth's rotation has gone incorrect, and so they're going to the core to set off a nuke so that the Earth starts spinning correctly again. Which I um, mm-hmm. I, that was during that 2000 era of where they were just like, let's nuke shit. Like, let's nuke an asteroid. Let's nuke mm-hmm. the fucking Earth. I remember there was that one thing about like the sun was dying. So they had to fucking nuke the sun to like restart. <laughs> it's so like, that's just what we do. Like, Isn't that also science. how Godzilla got? Yeah, yeah nuke the oceans. And then fucking Godzilla happened. Well, not in the oh, new game, right, 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 right. And then in the core, though, that'd be funny if they saw Gandalf in the Balrog. Yeah, uh, be... just falling, just kind of like in the background. <laughs> yeah, that, that, would be... that would add a lot of realism to that movie. <laughs> yeah, realism that is missing deeply, man. Yeah, hundred percent. And I also yeah. Yeah. wait, oh. go Cooper. I was I was gonna say I also feel like when Gandalf is revealing themselves. Uh, to the uh, the three heroes, he kind of seems like a flasher. Yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> he does like, like, like opening up his robe, stuff. and he's like, <laughs> 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 he, he he gets up on a gets up on a really tall rock yeah. and pulls yeah. his robe off. <laughs> yeah, pulls his robe off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. He does yeah. seem like a crazy old man, more so. Yeah, and like I like how they're literally like Gandalf. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> You know, like multiple times they're like, yo, Gandalf, you need to pump the brakes. Like you're talking fucking in riddles. And he's like, actually, I'm talking to the smart people in the room who are old enough to understand me. And everyone's like, dude, I'm old as fuck. And I still can't understand a word that you're saying, you crazy old man. (laughs) I mean, and and he's like, oh, how can you see the future? And he's like, well, I can see the future, but I can't see what's happening right now. And I'm like, well, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this guy's useless. Yeah. yeah. It's like, come on. <laughs> it sounds like you don't really know what's going on. <laughs> well, and then another thing was like halfway through, like when they first meet him, like they're, they're like have their weapons and shit. Gandalf's like, oh, yeah, none of your weapons can hurt me. And I'm like, hang on. So you're trying to tell me like he's just fucking Jesus and like can't be touched by sword or bow or anything like that? Mm-hmm. Like, why doesn't he just send him up against orcs? Just an entire army. Yeah, it's like he's invincible in that one moment, but no other time. <laughs> yeah. <later. laughs> and you're like, oh, we can just have this orc slayer that would just go yeah. through and fucking... And then he, like, thunderbolts Wormtongue, like, <laughs> later yeah, on. Him, yeah, like, makes him lay down on the... He's got weird... Mm-hmm. His powers are not... They're not mm-hmm. clearly defined. And it's And that's weird, because he's so prevalent. And he always comes back. You know what I mean? Like, killing him off makes sense. Or, like, when he disappears in The Hobbit, like, that's when they have their problems. But when he fucking comes back, 
they're like, oh, now we know what to do next. And it's like, because we have an immortal god walking with us that can fucking like, do everything. It's kind of like Qui-Gon Jinn from Star Wars. Yes, yes. You yes. know what I'm saying? Except he just actually comes back in the flesh. Mm -hmm. Liam Nelson could do a Liam great Liam. Handoff. Mm -hmm. That's true. 100%. He would do good. Mm -hmm. He had to recast. For sure. Um, do you think that Qui-Gon Jinn could put up a good battle against Gandalf. See, the problem is, is who knows what Gandalf's power level is. Like, mm -hmm. lore-wise? Gandalf, Gandalf the White? No chance. Yeah, I don't think Qui-Gon's really got that going on. Like, he got killed by I mean, he has, He's got the Force, though, you know? The Force but the is force, pretty good, too. The but, Force, I guess, is Gandalf's staff, so... Well, but also, like, you have to think, comparatively speaking, and I know that this is only in, that you guys pretty much only care about the prequels and shit. But like compared to fucking Sidious or you guys seen the new movies, right? Yeah. Compared to Sidious or Ray, no one could actually use the force. Like Darth Sidious fucking destroys fleets with force lightning. Yeah, he's pretty good. Hey, don't spoil the movie for me. I don't give a <laughs> fuck, Jacob. I don't give a fun. <laughs> fuck, man. I'm ornery today. I'm pissed Wait, off. He, he, I'm hot. He, I'm ready to go. He destroys ships with the force in the newest one. In the force lightning, yes, it's really cool. Oh, actually, it's, yeah. it's 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 well done, but it's the stupidest thing. In the world. <laughs> so, do you think that if Sauron teamed up with the Emperor and Darth Vader, but the Fellowship got the oh, Jedi? God. Okay, you know. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna uh, we're gonna end this cross. Yeah, that's Matt, you, stupid. You, you went far enough with core, and now you've just gone into lunacy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, core. Core <laughs> is where we draw the line. Uh, yeah. I'll let you guys. Uh, I'll defer. But yeah, um, so it's they do go to Rohan. Right, they, uh, they go, go to Rohan. Um, Ham. Like, the guy's name is like Hama. Hama is takes all their weapons, and Aragorn's like, yo. Don't take my fucking weapons. And he's like, uh, too bad, son. We're going to take your weapons. And then they go meet Theoden. And Gandalf basically fucking force fucks the evil out of <laughs> Theoden and Warm Tongue. And like, I mean, that's literally what you would describe it as. Like, in this scene, it's like, oh, there, his body like shot to the floor with the pressure. And like, he screamed and shit like that. And then like, the old fade and like writhed in his chair as he regained consciousness. And you're like, Oh my, what the fuck is going on here? And, so and he, needs yeah. staff. he needs staff to do this for some reason as well. Yeah. And that's another thing I just don't get. It's like, does he really like, he seems to be okay without a staff, but then again, I haven't really seen him without it. Yeah. When I think about where, it, it's kind of where he's drawing his, uh, drawing his energy from. It's kind, of like, um, it's kind of like Cooper with his fucking toe spacers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like wearing them right now. Yeah, he kind of, he kind of needs that to uh, to ground himself to, mm -hmm. the, to the earth to to channel the chakra. You know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, agreed. Uh, I I question why nobody in Rohan ever was like, guys, like our king has completely gone insane, <laughs> and he's aged about <laughs> seven years in the past two weeks. He's got this guy who's hanging around him constantly. Like, maybe we just shouldn't listen Ooh. to him anymore. Tale <laughs> of the ghost. In yeah. Like, he's, he's about to die. <laughs> he goes by Worm Tongue. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Why are we trusting the guy whose name is Worm Tongue? <laughs> like, did he just imprison the prince? Like, is that normal? Yeah. Like, <laughs> that guy seemed pretty reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's just so. I mean, that's. The the whole I think I that's wonder if you really needed to have that scene. Um, I guess you do the, because they didn't become such a badass after it that you have to explain it. why he's been doing so shitty. Yeah, and you also had to explain why the road riders of Rohan were kicked out. Yeah, um, and, they're kinda like and why rude. Rohan was yeah, was kind of down in the dumps when they arrived. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess we'll play more into it when they actually go to Helm's Deep, which I think is the next chapter. Right. And yeah, so that... Pump, pump. Oh, yeah, dude. I saw that. The next chapter was called Helm's Deep, and I was like, fuck yeah, dude. That's sweet. But, I mean, at some point in time, they have to go with the warg fight. Does um, that happen in the book? Well, I know Aragorn 
uh, falls, like he falls in the river. Okay. I know that happens in the book, but I'm not sure how it happens. Work fight is pretty badass, so. Yeah, I mean, I hope it's the work fight. It's fucking rad, dude. Yeah. I want a warg. I want a warg so badly. Oh, yeah, you yeah, could ride a warg. Yeah, dude. If you had a fucking warg, you could just, you, you, no one would be able to tell you what to do. Mm-hmm. No. You just have a big, giant hyena. Yeah. I mean, I think some people hyena. in Africa have hyenas as pets, actually. I saw a picture of that. You just saw a picture of one guy holding a chained hyena, and <laughs> it was pretty fucking cool. No, yeah, it's it's Jack. Cool. I've seen that picture. <laughs> no, I mean, it's fucking hyenas are cool animals, man. So Super. I think one time Cooper told me that hyenas are actually like bears or some shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, they're yeah. not. They're not like dogs or cats. They're like their own thing. They're, right. they're closer, closer to bears, which makes sense if you like kind of look at their skeleton and the way they're they're shaped. A hundred percent, dude. Okay, okay, okay. Here's actually here's a battle that doesn't get enough talk: hyena versus a wolf. Oh, hyena and wolf. Are you are hyena, you dude? No, hyena. Dude, a wolf is way bigger than a hyena. I don't know, bro. I think they're. I but hyenas kind of got that like pit bull type energy, you know? Hyena's yeah, got that bite force though. But a wolf is pretty pretty badass no, dude, too. A wolf, a wolf, a wolf. How, how much is a hyena bigger. weigh? How, how much is bigger? It okay, let's let's go. Go. Wait. Yeah, yeah, dark. I'm it's kind of like the African wolf versus the North American wolf, you know? Okay, hyenas are like 100 pounds. Wolves get pretty big. I mean, so a hyena has fucking... Um... Okay, wolves Wolves are a little mm. bigger, but it's about a wash. They're about the same size. In terms yeah, of man, weight. it's not... That would be a good... That would be a good This matchup. is a good fight. It would be a good matchup. I mean, and I'm seeing a, wolves have a bite force of 120 psi, and then uh, hyenas have a 1,100 psi. So they're pretty even on bite force too. Wait, what was that? A thousand versus thousand? A thousand versus a thousand two hundred, or a thousand one hundred versus a thousand two hundred. Okay, so basically the same. Yeah, basically the same. So I mean, they're pretty pretty evenly stacked. I want to agree. Start smarter though. I agree though, but if I was in the wild. And I saw a hyena, I wouldn't really be that scared. But if I was in the wild and I saw a wolf, I would be pretty scared. What are you talking about, bro? Dude, I wouldn't be that afraid Dude. of hyena. A hyena? Yeah, man. I don't know. It depends on how many. Hyenas seem like they have less honor. These are all number creatures. Yeah, dude, they definitely do. That's a hundred. That's a fact. It's hyenas definitely have more. Honor. They're more of a, a mangy creature. Yeah. Well, hold on. Now I'm looking at pictures. I think the wolf would win. Yeah, you know, hyenas are, I think, a little small. They're not as like tall. They're not as long. The wolf's just got that long jaw and long exactly. snout. Exactly. Hyenas got really like a sh- short. Mm-hmm. Hyenas got like a short face. You know, it's not. It has that short mouth, while a wolf mm-hmm. has that long snout. I'm just way more scared of wolves. I think, to be honest. I don't know. I feel like a pack of wolves. I could be like taken into a pack of wolves and like live with them. But, but, how, but how, much, how, much, how much is the reach really factoring? Pack of wolves, pack of wolves over pack of hyenas. I think solo one on one hyena over wolf. Hmm. Damn. There's a lot of YouTube videos on it. Uh, we are not the first <laughs> to ask this question. <laughs> There's Animal so, Fight Club season three, episode five. Dude, those, none of those videos actually have animal fights in it. It's I know, so annoying. It's so, it's so stupid. It's like you're just trying yeah. to get answers, and they don't have any answers. Yeah, it would be like lion versus alligator, and it's just like them growling Slide at each other over a piece of. Oh slide yeah, slide yeah. Like in videos and pictures. It's so stupid. I'm looking at these pictures on like Google, and some of them are like kind of cosplay, like you know what I'm talking about. Sort of like yeah, yeah. Sort of like furry type energy. No, there's definitely a lot of furry type energy between both of these creatures, man. Yeah. Yeah, this guy this guy voted for the hyena, but I, I don't know, man. I just I don't know. I mean it's a good it's a good matchup. And I think you know what it why. is? The wolf is just so much more noble than the hyena. That is you know? true. that's why I give it to the hyena one on one. Maybe, but you know the hyena, yeah. The hyena is gonna like pretend to like um, yeah, because that hyena looks fucking huge, Cooper. That's a big hyena. That's a Although huge wolves, hyena. Wolves dude. are also huge too. I know, yeah. but I'm saying that they're, they're they gotta be around the same size, hundred percent. 
Like if they're that's similar. the size of a hyena, that's also the size of a wolf. Dude, they're definitely are, similar. Wolves are big, man. Wolves are so big. Longer, I mean, longer, I think. They're taller. They're a lot taller too. Yeah. I don't know, man. That's that's a good question. That's a really it's good. Impossible one. to know. It is. I'd love to see an African bear, dude. They don't have those. I don't think so. I don't know. I mean, I think those are hyenas. I mean, literally, yeah. they just yeah, evolved but, for, but, for the but grassland. I mean, like a straight up Ursuline from the genetic family. Mm -hmm. you say, like, yeah, this, this looks like a bear. I'm sure there's some some form which exists in the rainforest, but they're probably a lot smaller. My koalas. Turns out a bunch of people already asked that too. <laughs> Interesting. Smooth brain time, man. Man, I wish I was a wolf. Mm, well, yeah. You can be a wolf, dude. It's 2020. You can be whatever the fuck you want, man. That's true. You can go on the subreddit for other kins and fucking shed your human bounds. And become Jacob, something greater. You come into my wolf, uh, go into my wolf fantasy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. And fucking run into the woods, never see again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, dude. Oh I, yeah, dude. I, I forgot to say this week's uh, sponsor. Um, our local sponsor today is a. Uh, Ring Fit Adventure for the Nintendo Switch, which is a game that I purchased recently, and I gotta say, and I'm really I'm ready for this, Cooper. Um, I think it's a pretty good workout for a video game workout. Have you heard okay. about this? No, I haven't. It's super interesting because it's basically like you. I'll sh I'll show you the the thing that they send it with, but it's a it's a giant fucking plastic ring. That you strap the Joy-Con into, like the controller into, and then it like because it had has an accelerometer in it, it like reads the position of the ring, so it knows when you're like crunching it and when you're pulling it apart and like when you're moving it around. So it tracks your movement between that controller in the ring and a controller strapped to your leg, and I mean. It has you do like body weight exercises, right? And it called me out on my squats not being low enough and like refused to count them. There you go. Because the fucking actual Joy-Con like said, no, you're not low enough. Like you entered in you entered in your height. This is where it should be. And I was like, fuck you, man. And I <laughs> I, I worked up a sweat playing this game a good couple of times. It's like a good little 30 minute thing. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I'm I'm interested to see. What you th I, I really want you to try it to be perfectly honest. Yeah, I mean, but, I would love to try it when I whenever I come over. It's, John, I mean, it's super cool. Did it call you fat? Huh? No, <laughs> it said, "Come on, you fat shit, hurry up." <laughs> well, I wish it did have a scale. Oh, really? It, meant, it would make you stand on something? No, no, no. I mean, because that, that's what like the Wii Fit board did. Oh, I see. You know what I mean? Dude, you could What's just play thing? DDR. I mean, you can. Let's be real. TDR. If you are, if you're one of those guys that like really, TDR would get you it, going. Yeah, TDR, TDR would pump yeah. that heart rate. Up. TDR was really fun, actually. No, hundred really percent. Yeah, Tate got really good at that. Um, yeah, no, I mean, honestly, John, I think this can do a really good job. It's just basically a personal trainer, and it holds you accountable with that ring. Well, yeah, stuff. with the ring thing. I mean, I was so baffled by how much it called me out on my posture, which I thought was really funny. Mm -hmm. I was like, all right, let me just really quickly, like, because you do, like, crunches, like, kill monsters. And it was like, you're not fucking crunching high enough. Hmm. And I was like, damn, dude, fuck you. Like, well, that's creative. Cooper, do you know what's, you know what's not funny? Dude, when, uh -huh. you, when you support John and uplift him? <laughs> uh-huh. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know what is funny, though? Dude. Well, okay, yeah. <laughs> when you make fun of John... Uh for for his exercises mm -hmm. is it though it is hilarious <laughs> is it though because i've been doing good i wonder if it I if it, it really really you out on your shitty deadlifts or anything uh no do well that's something that's been huge it's like it's so when i I'm, I'm squatting now mm -hmm. it it can it knows when my back isn't straight really how does mm. it know because the way it kind of triangulates, I think, between the two, the one on your leg and the one in the ring, because you have to, like, yeah, you can hold, like, 
you could technically hold the ring out in front of you and you could game the system. But if you're holding it to your chest, like you're, they're saying to, it will detect if the ring is straight. Right, if it's in front or behind. Mm -hmm. And so then you can go down and it will say, well, don't wobble. And you'll be like, oh, f f yeah, fuck you. It's like, <laughs> hey, I, I didn't get a game to be ridiculed. And I got to say, it, it does a does a decent job. I'm, I I was shocked by it. I, I got it kind of because my mom wanted it for the COVID thing. But I was pretty... Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's when, cool. When did this thing come out? Mm -hmm. It came out a while ago, but you couldn't get it for, I mean, in months and months and months because of COVID. So, like, I think it came out last fall, like in November. And, um, it's, you were able to get it up and right up until December. But then December it came, it, like, everyone started buying it for the same reason, like, you can't find barbells or kettlebells right now yeah i think it's a pretty good idea to be honest with you it's I'm it's sure. really i'm surprised by it and i i i would love to show you sometime but yeah i definitely. think it's a great uh, for especially for a weird i mean it's not like super intense but it's about it's like a good rubber band workout it's like if a, one of the rubber bands could like tell you if you weren't flexing hard enough yeah, it looks you like know. a resistance thing as well. You what do you like? You like squeeze it also or some shit? Yeah, you squeeze it and pull it, and like it does because you like calibrate it to beginning to like your strength. Dude, just get a shake weight, man. Yeah, Dude, that's, that's what I was thinking too, actually. <laughs> Dude, I already just got a shake, shake weight between my legs. Guy stuff. Toilets. Yeah, yeah, poop and farts. <laughs> so fucking dumb. That's why we don't have any female listeners, man. That's what we got to work on. Is building a f strong female fan base. Yes, agreed. Um, we can be called woke as hell. You never have to worry point. about anything, dude. Think about just, it. Just like Chris D'Elia. I mean, like, you know. Or Bill Cosby. Or any of those great guys like Louie, you know. <laughs> Those guys, you know, they are progressive. Yeah, they're definitely progressive. I mean, they really take into account what consent is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. That's that's where it stops. But um, yeah, it was a weird, weird thing. Um, but it's it, it's not a substitute for a good workout, but it's a it is a workout. What are you doing know. up there in uh, Columbus then, Johnny, huh? Do you mm -hmm. want to join Fucking, the protest? No, 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 no. Oh. I mean, A, there's no protest going on unless there's something that I missed. But like, oh, I don't know. Um, my, yeah, for those of you that don't know, my dad lives up here. And the answer to what I'm doing is basically anything my dad wants to do. Don't got much say in the matter. And, um, yeah, I just kind of sit here and try and hide as much as possible and avoid contact. But tomorrow I won't work and I'll get to go out on a kayak for something like six, seven hours. Man. Oh, nice. I'm pumped. On? Where, where are you kayaking? Just, just my dad lives like on a lake now, so it's so much easier. Oh, I see. But yeah, it's, uh, it's fucking... <laughs> this is funny, Jacob. What did you send the shit? <laughs> but yeah. No, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, and the, I think the hard part is, is normally when I'm here, I drink a lot, like a lot. Like I, I never don't have a beer in my hand and that keeps me very relaxed and very cool. But now I'm not He's trying to drink. As a crutch. Well, yeah, but so now I'm not trying to do that and I'm trying to just fucking make it until tomorrow because I, during COVID, I'm only trying to drink on weekends because... A, it's much healthier for you, and B, it's it's not a good thing to have like a beer every night. And it's so easy to drink when you're fucking working from home. It's so easy. Like at four, when you finish all of your shit, to just be like, oh, let me just fucking crack open a Budweiser, and the next thing you know, you're like fucking four beers deep and playing Grand Theft Auto, and you can't even drive. Like it, it's a thing, and so I'm I'm not trying to get fucking super drunk but here i am with uh, nothing to do and after this 
I, I, I don't see how I could make it through the rest of this week without just being pretty uh, buzzed the entire time. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, you could eat so much that <laughs> you don't have any room in your stomach for alcohol. That's true. That's okay. true. I could do that. I've done that before. And that's mm-hmm. all just, replace, just replace one crutch with another. Yeah. Yeah, that's man. Cool. Like sweets. Yeah. No, I mean, it, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a thing, man. And I'm fucking so stoked. I got yelled at for uh, texting instead of calling when asked to contact my dad, which was really cool. Um, Sounds like you had it coming. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, he said, he said, he said, contact me. And I made the mistake of thinking that that meant sending a text to his personal cell phone. When instead, contact me actually means, and I didn't actually know this at the time, but it turns out that means call me. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so, I mean, I guess that sometime in the recent two weeks, uh, Marion Webster went and changed the fucking definition of contact and boned me over pretty fucking hard. So I think you should have sent him a letter. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> yeah, a strongly fucking worded. No. <laughs> I love I love a good I think letters are so interesting because there used to be like the way people write and communicate now but n- or they used to be but now they're just so fucking lame. I don't know bro letters are pretty cool. Yeah, what, I, when I was like the last time, when was the last time you sent a letter? I you know Either of you. I got audited by the IRS. I sent them a letter. No 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 no. Sent like a per someone fucking wrote you a hand, like a letter to get in contact with you to like talk with you about that. well john me and my pen pal jin yang from china jin yang is a character Jin-Yang. from silicon valley cooper <laughs> exchange exchange letters weekly do you really though no does, does i mean he need help are you huh? trying to help him escape <laughs> the reward <laughs> yeah dude, china's fucked right now they are what's going on I mean, I don't know. I guess it's not really fucked if, because the thing is, if you just fucking if you're if you're just super into the communist party, you're good to go. But even if it was fucked, we would never know. That's true. Because of the communist party. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you just gotta be super, super for the party, and then you're good to go. Simple, simple, simple way. Yeah, I mean, I if I was in would. communist China, I'd probably be all for it. Yeah, man, I would. I don't, I don't want to get murdered or anything. So, well, they have like the social credit scores now and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Like that's weird. And like they they couldn't do that in America because everyone would just be fucking degenerates. What what if what if we had this podcast and we lived in China? Huh. I, don't think, I don't think we would live in China for that much longer. You know, like it's. <laughs> The, the the shit that you're not allowed to say over there is like outrageous. Like you're not allowed to look at like skeletons and shit like that. <laughs> like straight up, it it's so weird. I mean, it's so fucking. Weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah. China, especially Korea, Japan, whatever, but China's so conservative. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's get yeah. to China and visit Cooper's pen pal. Mm-hmm. Xin Yang. Yeah. Definitely not made up. No. But no, what I was saying is like if you're sending a letter nowadays, you either have a stick up your ass or you're like a soy. Or you, or you have a taste for the finer art. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, it was AKA soy boy. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> AKA, AKA you're pretty cultural. <laughs> yeah. You're super cultural. And you live in Brooklyn and you fucking <laughs> have a man bun and shit. I don't know. The dreads are coming along nicely, though. Do you have dreads, John? Going for it. Growing these hairs out. Going to get cornrows. Really? Sweet. Now's yeah. a really good Now's a really I good political I fully atmosphere. encourage it. I fully yeah, no, I mean, that's exactly what we, we talked about this last cast. I, yeah, I just assumed you weren't actually serious. Well, here's the thing. Is that I have no strong desire to cut my hair and to go get a cut right now. And I, guys, I... I I need fame. I need to get famous and rich and successful mm, yeah. so I can leave 
Yes. All of you miserable fucks behind. Yeah. <laughs> never well, talk to you again. Well, right. <laughs> and, and run into the woods. And and, yeah. And, and basically just into the wild in like a million dollar van that just mm -hmm. grows marijuana and, you know, beer and just, you just have a cr crazy time. And, and that's what I need. I, I need fame. I need okay. to be famous and okay, i think yeah. the fastest way to do that is to braid my hair and dye it bright pink it will definitely help <laughs> yeah <laughs> right there's no helps. way it doesn't <laughs> you do those things you get really fat <laughs> i mean that's how you Cooper, do it imagine this image john severely obese with cornrows <laughs> pink that would cornrows. be hilarious yeah pink yeah. cornrows i mean i'm you talking about really ass. yeah Ideally wearing like a duster, like something yeah. crazy, you know, yeah. like you don't even need jokes. You just go up on stage and show your face. <laughs> you just, just you, your uniform just my man fits together, just like <laughs> how you like it, boys. Your uniform <laughs> and smoke cigarettes. <laughs> it should just be a trench coat and that's it. Yeah, absolutely naked under <laughs> under <laughs> yeah. hundred percent. People people at parties love that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. I mean, if you show up naked to trench coat and with purple or pink dreadlock or cornrows, you you'd be good to go. I mean, mm -hmm. the ladies would want you, and men would want to be you. You know, mm -hmm. like it would. There's mm -hmm. just no way around it. I mean, when they hear those thighs come clapping into the room, you know, <laughs> just reeking of cigarettes and your own body odor and fucking Japanese body pillow. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, you know that's what you want. You know, you want that good. You want that. I just watched hentai look. You know, that's what you're going for. Yeah. Yeah. No. There's, there's a market for that for sure. Oh, I mean, there. Then that's what's disgusting. Is that there is? I always used to feel that way about like the kids Jump. that like got bullied in school. Well, no, not me. I had a lot of friends in school all the time. No one ever makes fun of me, right? I um, made fun of you. Yeah. No. I mean, I know it's. You guys just spent about five minutes making fun of me before I said that. But um, <laughs> it, I would see kids that like got picked on at school eating together. And I'd be like, damn, look at them beating the system. Like, because no one else wants to eat with them. They all join together. And now they're stronger. You're like, whoa, the fringe community has become an actual community. I still don't want to be a part of it. But good on them, you know? Like, they went to prom. Like, what? I'm oh, sorry. Okay. I see what you mean. Oh, man. I want to name drop someone, but I forgot his name. Cooper Cooper was almost part of that that group. Um, well, well, he you, was really close, but then he played football, and that saved him from um, saved him from. Dude, that. if Cooper didn't play football, he would be a fucking <laughs> big old nerd, dude. Like a <laughs> yeah. big old nerd. I don't know about that. A hundred percent. I'm pretty you, cool. You are a career in football away from being a huge nerd. Like you played oh, magic, yeah. you played yeah, like classic. So, so did you guys? Yeah, but I yeah, am we a nerd. cool. We were That's cool. my thing. Is I, I, I can I'm leaning into it. You know, <laughs> right, right. John's leaning into it. I'm just uh, naturally cool, and so it evens out. But you, Cooper, yeah, you <laughs> you got saved by ha Coach Howard. And Glenn I don't know. I don't know if <laughs> fall into the nerd category is so much as just the insane category. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. Dude, it would that be kid that watched hentai in the fucking gym. <laughs> I remember exactly. You don't have to say his that. name, but I'm not going to say his name. But I know exactly who you're referring to. But yeah, dude, that was Wait, and he happened? played football, right? He was like a shitty second string, someone. <laughs> yeah it was him for sure and i remember people would just be like what are you watching and at first he would just be like anime and people would leave him alone and then it'd be like oh that girl has like an octopus coming out of her tutor and <laughs> and you're just watching that right there while everyone's Casually. changing into the weight room you know like <laughs> you know weird. some really Really weird things occurred in that locker room and weight room, you know. Dude, yeah, <laughs> really, just wow, you know. Here's here's the I I've never felt more sexually threatened by male mm -hmm. men mm -hmm. in that locker room, and I've been in several gay bars that have mm -hmm. been very hostile environments. But <laughs> dude, I mean that yeah. Didn't some kid get shit on? Uh, I some kid <laughs> shit in another kid's protein powder. 
<laughs> That's pretty good. I saw it happen, and then I also <laughs> saw it be open. Was the protein powder on the ground? Did they put it on the ground? <laughs> it was in the locker. <laughs> yeah, and he made the unfortunate mistake of leaving his locker unlocked. So you know what happened. So you get it. Yep. That's on you. Yeah, that's on you, really. Dude, the protein yeah. powder is expensive, too. I'd be so pissed off. Yeah. His face, he was not happy. I thought, um, and I don't care about Nate. Do you, you know, I mean, I, I guess I should care about me dropping people because they get upset. Yeah, maybe don't do that. Well, I mean, he made the national news by doing something incredibly racist, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah he, that was a, he was an interesting fellow. Yeah, and I, I could have sworn I heard a story about him shitting on someone's chest, but. Uh, somebody else took a shit in somebody's chin strap. I believe, well, <laughs> I, 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 I won't name drop either, but uh, that also happened. God damn, dude. Yeah, I, I, I've got some good ones about this this gentleman here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't you wrestle? And the wrestling team. People get weird on the wrestling team, too. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot all about that. The, both of I those forgot about people. that person entirely. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> that big Middle Eastern bear of a man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God, and no one else that's listening to this is laughing. They're all like, what the fuck are they talking about? Yeah, but I think I think I think this kind of thing happens at all at all high schools. Yeah. yeah. Probably. Probably. Well, and also the only people that listen to this is our people that know us, you know. So yeah. there's that there's that part too. Well, you know, I'm kind of worried about I'm kind of worried about this. I feel like in the future there's gonna be less of the shenanigans that we're talking about and more um and more culture, you know. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah. For uh, people, <laughs> it's gonna be powder. harder for the old, the old strong white guy to. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, yeah, I don't. Things are changing, you know. Well, I mean, yeah, we, I, I don't know. I think yes. Think about what happened in like kids the will always be kids, dude. Like, yeah, no matter true. what, like, there's never gonna be a time, a period of history where like someone's not going to get pants, you know? Like that's just so funny, man. It's so <laughs> funny. It's clean. It's classic, you know? Harmless. Yeah. I mean, worst comes to worst, they're not wearing underwear, and you just basically sexually assaulted them. But I specifically remember that happening in the middle of the hallway in middle school. <laughs> <laughs> no pants, just boxers and everything. Everything was pulled down. Man. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> To the same Fucking person who got his protein powder shit in. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Write this. Write this. Write this. Who, who got the protein? Oh, no. Wait. Was it Was it the first name you sent, Cooper? No. <laughs> that kid had a nice car, and that's all I remember. Mm -hmm. But no. Um, what's it called? <laughs> I was thinking uh, back about that uh in middle school, the uh, were you guys a part of the marker war? Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> that was some of the stupidest things we've ever done. So well, for the listeners like, at home, we would take like fucking magic markers which were everywhere, and we would like sneak up behind people and then like slit their throat with the magic marker. We yeah. just throw it at them, <laughs> and like you would just walk around all day with this like rainbow of <laughs> neck. Where people yeah. like sl fake slit your throat and like, yeah. <laughs> the like twelve dollars, so, <laughs> so fucking pissed off because we were all just like, yeah, <laughs> we have markers and you could never fucking constrict it because a kid could whip out a marker at any time. Like, <laughs> goddamn, it's like um, this one time, uh, there's a kid in my shop class who I'll write his name, but he was a very wealthy lad that we went to the school with. And uh, he and I had this thing where we like kicked each other in the butt. In the but butt? this person was also like, like much, way? yeah, like in a gay way. But um, this person was also much more popular than me. So like, didn't like he would like dig around with me in shop class. And like, there were a couple times where he kicked like my tailbone really hard, like real fucking hard. And at one point in time, he gave me his phone number because I asked him to hang out. And 
then he ran up to me one time when I was walking with my brother at the mall, at Tyson's mall, and kicked me in the ass real hard. And so I texted the phone number, like threatening that person and being like, I'm going to find you at school tomorrow and I'm going to kick you in the ass so hard you're not going to be able to walk for the next <laughs> three weeks. And I got a text back from a fucking detective saying never to contact that number ever again. What? And I was like, he dogged me so hard that he gave me a fake number and then I accidentally like threatened to assault like some poor fucking kid. I was like, what the fuck? Man? I, I was well, like, man. Did you, well, do you think it was a fake number? Or do you think it was the real number and he A, didn't realize who it was from or B, somebody else just like saw it, like their parents just I saw mean, it. Pretend to be a detective. It's possible. It's more likely. Actually. Yeah, you got a text from a detective. <laughs> that was definitely fake. <laughs> well, I was still scared, guys. Yeah, yeah it's so fake. You're just back. realizing this now, too, aren't you? Huh? Dude, that was fake. Yeah, clearly it was not a real detective. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, that just well, shattered the world, didn't it? I mean, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I must have been duped. You know, like, I, that's what it comes down to. I remember this one time in high school. I was over at your house, John, because I would actually hang out with you. And yeah. um, I really liked I really liked one of the managers on the wrestling team. And you you took my phone and you changed your contact to her name on my phone. <laughs> I used to do that shit so much. And you like in, you were like inviting me over. I was like, oh my god, dude! I was like, I'm gonna go over to her house. Like she wants to hang out with me. Like. In private, in her basement, I was so excited, and then I and then you fucking knew. <laughs> <laughs> That's so diabolical. Uh, that was funny. I remember that. I was like, "Damn, you got me so good." <laughs> How did you reveal it? Let's crack a lacking boys. Oh, oh Christ. yeah, <laughs> Kazra, what's up? Nothing much, man. I just had some McLean cheese steaks. From Bro, McLean. you just you just entered into a serious conversation about childhood shenanigans. Dude, I've never done such things in my <laughs> life. I wouldn't Kazra, know about them. Kazra, remember when we taped each other to the wall using duct tape? I was never taped up. There. I don't think so. It, it was a pole also. <laughs> it was a pole. Starting him young. <laughs> Wait, so Kazu is can now just is now just a part of this, huh? Mm-hmm. Just like that. Yeah, hey, dude, I need I need my little picture on the the thing. <laughs> what happened to John? Did we lose him? All right, guys. That's I'm what back, I was I'm back, He's I'm the back. one that messaged me to join this, and she's not even here, dude. Wait, what? I missed Kazra joining. What, yeah, a, Kazra just what a host, dude! Little, little what? Little you guys dude, hate this guy? The fuck you guys, dude! <laughs> yeah, wait, isn't this channel supposed to be like secure or something? Huh? I he joined it one time just for fun. <laughs> Did Kazra hack the mainframe? <laughs> Easy. Yeah, that's what happened. He hacked the mainframe. Damn, dude, you joined? Fuck. I missed it. Yeah, the, the fucking Wi-Fi went out here because um, it's Columbus, Ohio. And I guess they don't have internet. So now I'm on my phone. Which You're is like wonderful. on a lake or something? Yeah, basically, but worse because it's in, uh, I don't know if you heard me the first time, but it's in Ohio. Oh, I know all about Ohio. Dude, everyone knows all about Ohio because there ain't nothing here. Mm -hmm. Nothing at all, man. Mm -hmm. So, Kazra, how are you, bud? I don't know, man. Nope. Been better. <laughs> You've been better? Yeah. What's don't got you down, bud? Don't come in here all bud? depressed, Kazra. <laughs> Dude, is, I thought this was my intervention. That's why I came in here. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we got to talk to you about the hentai. It's got to yeah. stop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. just been rampant. Oh, no, you don't man. like weebs, Kazra. Don't like weebs. <laughs> don't like beating the wheels off of anime girls. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, dude. Go to streets. See, I needed this. I needed. I needed to talk to everybody, man. So, this has been good. Kazra, what's your favorite part of Lord of the Rings? <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. dude. I gotta think about that. I remember I saw Golem eat that raw fish, and then I didn't eat fish for mm -hmm. weeks. That's, That's a good really part. Scene. I didn't eat fish for weeks, man. <laughs> Actually, you got so grossed out. Yeah, dude. I was like 12, dude. 
I already didn't like I guess fish. It's a kid. Yeah, I didn't really like fish either. So I guess that kind of same like, effect. He honestly makes the fish look pretty good. Yeah, it's like pretty juicy. What kind of juicy fucking man. animals are in this call? Dude? <laughs> well, I could tell you that I would be super interested in eating the rabbit that he catches. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're right. He no, I don't remember that, up. dude. Hunter. When, He's uh, very self-sufficient. Is this a part yeah, of the no. extended edition, dude? No, dude. That's is this in the director's cut? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> God damn, dude. <laughs> so what brings you to the internet this time of day, Casher? Still playing RuneScape? <laughs> uh, I've been take I just lost membership and I was like, I don't know if I want to rebuy it, you know. Kind of <laughs> dwindling my years of life away from me. <laughs> Dude, you play that game too much. <laughs> you play There's no tired. such thing, dude. I'm wasting XP as we speak, actually. Let me log in right now. <laughs> what, what, what level are you, Kaz? Good call. Good call. Dude, what skill are you talking about, dude? What do you mean, uh, what level? Isn't there an overall level? Mm-hmm. Well, I have no, one account that's scary. level 116. The max level is 126, but you got you to gotta really have no life to get that. And I got another account that's 85. I got 99 strength on my main, though. <laughs> oh, so yeah. basically cooper all those years of lifting mean nothing because i have 99 strength and i don't think you do i mean it's true you know it's dude, true so you, it, it's, it, has it changed at all since 2002 2002 dude you're wow you were really going at it i mean i play 2007 skate because i'm cool so it's like they re- they redid the they redid the servers so what they were like when we were kids. It's kind of like what they did with Classic WoW. Oh, nice! But I hate that dude. Smart. I hate, I hate it. I can't do. Well, Classic you. WoW was really <laughs> slow. Yeah, I, I tried to play it, but yeah, dude, the server sucked and and it was all laggy and stuff. Uh, I mean, I didn't experience that, but I mean, it's like the leveling was. Oh yeah, yeah, the leveling. Yeah, the <laughs> leveling is so it's so insane. Did you play on launch day, low. Cooper? No, dude. I, I played for like two months and I, I stopped playing recently because I was like, I'm not fucking doing this. It takes so long to level up. Yeah, the first day it, it came out, there. there was like six hour queues to get into the server. And then you get into the server and like your quest is to kill like cobalt miners or something. But there's like a thousand people killing them. So you just <laughs> sit there and try to get one, but you never can. So, yeah, <laughs> that's great. Jake, you didn't dabble in this at all. No, I never dabbled in in World of Warcraft. Damn, dude! Not fucking even loser. RuneScape. Yeah, I played RuneScape for a while. And, and did I tell you how I quit playing RuneScape? So I went to the no, bank dude. or whatever, and I was playing. Yeah, scam Oz. Saving up for saving <laughs> yeah. up forever. And this guy, and he's like, he's like Rune Skimmy, Rune Skimmy, fifteen k. I'm like, damn, that's a good deal. I gotta get that Rune Skimmy. And the last second, he switched out for an Iron Skimmy. I lost fifteen k, and I was so fucking pissed. I never played again. So like, I, I have cock. an inc- an incredibly similar story, <laughs> where I boxed this guy, and you could box, and you would go down to one health. And then the guy was like, here, eat this. You'll restore all your health. So I ate it, and it was poison. So I then died, and I, he got all my gear. You didn't read the thing that. that said poison on it? No, dude. It wasn't obvious at all. It was like a mushroom. <laughs> dude, um, what's the Yeah, game? when we were kids, I, we, so thought like, we thought like 100K <laughs> was so much money, but that's like you literally can't do anything in the game with 100K. Dude, I thought 15K was so much. I yeah, was, I was you quit the game alive. over it, clearly. I quit the game over it. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I had to mine for hours to get that money. My dad was yelling at me. <laughs> <laughs> and I good. lost all of it in like fucking one minute. It was horrible. <laughs> stupid kid. <laughs> yeah, dude. Some adult is just like this stupid fucking kid. <laughs> Use some push ups. Well, that That's what he was thinking so in his head. head. Yeah, your dad yeah. was like, give me some push ups and eat these He's vegetables. Like, you don't even have 99 strength. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the power went out. That's what God, happened. Wow, the Columbus power. is really, bro. That so, means that means the the riders are coming to your place, your lake house, John. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude, I'm super worried about it. I'm definitely gonna get my AR-15 and point it at a bunch of people. <laughs> Beat the wheels off, John. <laughs> Stop! No, they're not. <laughs> no one's able to beat the wheels off me at all, Kajra. Gallop the hooves off that horse. <laughs> and- <laughs> Gal- gotta keep it lore friendly <laughs> that's true dude it's pretty good it- 
<laughs> you think that's what Ar- uh, Ar- Aragorn was saying to Arwen? He's like telling yeah, Legolas to, to the house maidens. Yeah, yeah he's like, yes. yo, <laughs> you know, I, I gallop the hooves off Arwen. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to Legolas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, yo, bro. And Legolas is like, oh, my word. <laughs> like, yeah, really Legolas is kind of pissed sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for sure. He's a fancy he's a- boy. Yeah. <laughs> Right, oh, boys. I'm about to flex on you real Wait. quick. What is what? Oh, what is fuck. what's going on? Yeah, what are you talking about? Yeah. Are you trying to share your screen, Kazra? Nah, dude. I'm a I'ma send a picture in the chat. I just realized right, Kazra's we'll profile it. picture is the NFL Street NFL 2. Street <laughs> two. <laughs> That's great. Best game ever. Best sports game by far. Better than Madden, hundred percent. I like the NHL uh, games too. Here yeah, the, like who are the RuneScape stats, boys? All right, now that we've seen Kazra's pathetic RuneScape stat, let's uh, let's call it here. Yeah, I got yeah. things to do. <laughs> all right, hold on. Let, let me see if I can still do this all from my phone. Elijah Hood here for the XFL Wildcats, and I'm a big Why You Fools podcast fan. So you know, I know they was looking for Elijah Wood, but they found me. Keep searching for that one true ring and rock on. Cash, did you love that or did you love that? Yeah, don't uh, edit my name out of this. I don't want anyone to know I'm part of this shit. (laughs) (laughs) 